Luke, Stephanie, uh, we're in your new fantastic uh, loft condo downtown in Binghamton. Luke, tell me if you can, what does home mean to you? Well, home is a place where you can go home and relax and be yourself and uh, maybe regroup in, in my world what happened through the day and reflect on it and uh, kind of re-energize and get yourself ready for tomorrow. Uh, but uh, it is a place to come home and relax and be with family. Stephanie, uh, Luke's had a career uh, in the NHL as a player, certainly for over 20 years, traveling all over. And then the Senators in Ottawa, which is both your hometown, now in Binghamton. So there's been a lot of traveling. What do you do to make a house a home uh, when Luke was uprooting all the time? Um, what have you done over the years? A big thing for me is all our family photos. Mm -hmm. I travel with them and bring them, and I find that is... That helps. Family photos. Uh, what else? Um, just our, as much personal stuff as we can. So mm -hmm. when you rent and you don't have that option to paint or decorate or maybe um, find the perfect place to live, it's to quickly uh, make it feel like you have lived there for a long period of time. So whether it be, um, like I said, photos, your favorite blanket, uh, a comfortable rocking chair. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, in any city you've lived, what is a favorite home memory for either of you? You can think about I think it. The kids running around the house, the dogs. Yes. That's the best part. Yeah. The noise. It's quiet here with it, just Luke and I. Yes. So, yeah, definitely uh, the amount of noise and chaos and just everyday busy life. Okay. All right, uh, Luke, perhaps for you, uh, or either, uh, you really seem to sit down roots in Ottawa. You're both from there, um, but you're certainly beloved there, not only for your association, obviously, with the Ottawa Senators, but for the Do It For Darren campaign. Can you just tell me, like, how you feel about that huge, a huge effect that it's had on the community? Well, Ottawa's always been home for us. Uh, mm -hmm. All the amount of years that we have traveled, uh, it, it just there's something about it being our home that brought us back every summer. Yes. We'd go back every summer and train there and live there, and we always talked about even the nice places that we we went and mm -hmm. met great people. Uh, we always thought Ottawa was home, and obviously in, in our family's tra worst time and our tragedy, uh, the city was there for us. Mm -hmm. As much as people thank us for doing things. Uh, in, in the area of youth mental health, really it was the city embracing us and, and keeping us strong and keeping us going. Favorite qualities in a man? Honesty. Good, all right. Stephanie, favorite qualities in a woman? Oh, probably strength. Okay, the reverse, favorite qualities in a man? Kindness. Favorite qualities in a woman? Um, I guess loyalty and compassion. Okay. Stephanie, with Luke traveling uh, a lot throughout his career, uh, you've come and gone uh, to many cities. How, how, do you, how have you dealt with that over you know, a, a period of 20 years or more? People often have the benefit of putting down roots. You haven't had that benefit, but. Yeah, I think um, hockey lends itself to um, being helpful. And we were lucky that we always ended up on teams with great groups of people. Yeah. And we were all in the same boat. We all raised our kids together and yeah. unpacked boxes and went to the games and found soccer teams and hockey teams for the kids to play on. And you become very resourceful for right. tapping into other, other gals and finding out what they did and what works. But definitely moving with a team um, is helpful because you have an instant community and an instant family. It's like a whole village moving. Eh? Absolutely. So yeah. yeah, there's a, I don't know, it just there's great, strong, um, loving ladies that are willing to um, provide guidance. So I was so lucky I, with that. I think people uh, in the public look at uh, hockey players and hockey wives as it's all very glamorous, but there there is that day to day. You got to keep a house together. And you got to keep everything moving and rolling, and that's yes. not easy to do when you're moving from city to city, you know, uh, yes. on every year or every other year. 
you know, yes, so. and we sometimes, um, much our own fault, we would move within a city. We yes. were not great uh, always to commit to housing. So, yeah. you know, in six years in Edmonton, we moved four times. In yeah. Toronto, we moved four times in four years. Okay. In Philly, we moved twice. So part of that was our own fault, but it was just uh, either Luke was on a one-year contract or our yeah. housing didn't work out the way we wanted. Um, so you get, you get good at it. You get good at packing and you're a master mover, in other words. Yes. Yes. <laughs> have lots of tips. Okay. Uh, except children, because everybody says that. And I'm hoping you come out with the right answer. Luke, who is the love of your life, and when and where did you meet? And she's sitting right there. I'm saying if you come up with somebody else, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, this Stephanie is definitely the love of my life. Mm -hmm. And we met... We were both in high school. We didn't go to high school together. We just uh, had some mutual friends and uh, met up at a time when I was living away from home. And uh, we just started to keep in touch and and then spent a lot of time in the summers together for a few years. Do you remember the first time you saw her? Uh, yes, it was... Uh, I was home for just a weekend. I was living away in Peterborough and I came mm -hmm. home and went to uh, just a house gathering with uh, friends that were once again mutual friends through kind of hockey but went to school with Stephanie and, mm -hmm. and uh, met there on the weekend but we had lots in common um, both having relatives yeah. growing up in Shovel and, and Shovel's not a big place so we had no. lots to talk about we had lots that uh, you know I think we ended up talking that we were at a, a youth party when we were children or not yes. children but like maybe 12 or 13 or something like that at the time we we didn't know each other didn't meet each other but we were both there yeah wow here you go so you crossed paths even though you might yes. not have known it so you guys were teenagers basically when you met yeah i was 17 and i think Stephanie was 16. So. yeah okay go back a ways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right what is your idea of misery luke i'll ask you that um well i think that's an easy one for our family i think yeah uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, no parent should ever have to lose a child. Uh, and there's obviously, you know, lots of tragedies, whether it be cancer, mm -hmm. but in our, in our uh, uh, for instance, was suicide. So, you know, we're, we uh, are left with a lot of questions of why that we'll never understand. And that's the hard one to accept as much as what we want to try and help going forward in that yeah. uh, area, we'll still always have that question that's hard to kind of live with. Right. Okay, conversely then, what is your idea of happiness? Uh, I think uh, family and togetherness. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, happy times with, when the family are together, it's, it's, uh, it's always great memories. Um, and finally, how would you like to be remembered? Um, I think... Um, just as an honest, caring citizen of the community, uh, whether we always think of Ottawa as a home, so whether we're there or not, we consider ourselves, you know, citizens of the community, and we always look forward to going back. So I think yeah. hopefully people can appreciate that we are just, uh, um, you know, citizens that are proud to be part of Ottawa's community. 